Hey guys, welcome back. Just wanted to do a little video here and show you my plans for the teardrop. Kind of give you a, a peek into my mind and what I'm thinking I'm going to do. So I want to get started with a 8 foot by 4 foot standard sheet of plywood, 3 quarter inch. And the first thing I want to do is cut off four inches. So I'm going to draw a line four inches, create a cutoff, and then to get my basic shape for the camper, in the front I want to do a four foot diameter, two foot radius cut on the top corner. So I'll measure down two feet from the top, two feet from the front where that line intersects, so I'll use that as my pivot point. Draw a curve, and that'll give me my cutoff for the front. And then I'll do the same thing in the back, but instead of a four foot diameter circle, it'll be a two foot diameter circle, and a one foot radius. And that'll give me my cutoff for the back. Then I'm going to use the window frame as a template, and I'll mark out where the window's going to be. And that'll give me my cutoff for the window. So then I'll go ahead and start cutting those pieces off. And once I get everything cut out, this will give me the basic shape of my micro camper. So that'll be mounted to the trailer. This will be the passenger side. And the trailer is four foot tall C channel. So I want my overall height to be four feet, including the trailer. So that's why I'm cutting off the four inches from the bottom. Go ahead and add on the pieces of the trailer so you can get an idea of what the camper is going to look like on the trailer. Then I'll skin it with aluminum. Notice the aluminum is going to come all the way down to the bottom of the trailer frame. Add on a fender. Add on a nice big off-road tire. So I can pull behind my Jeep. And then of course have a galley that opens up in the back. add some aluminum trim all the way around that I'm going to paint black and put in my window and that's the passenger side and then I'll do the same thing for the driver side except for instead of a window there'll be a door use the same process to, to get the shape there skin the other side with aluminum add another fender add a tire and wheel on that side Add the door and the trim. And that's the basic shape of the camper. I think I'm going to show you the inside, how I plan to lay out the inside. So let's just pretend like we can see all the way through the camper. That's where the galley hatch will close into the camper. It's going to be probably three inch wide wood frame. So it'll take up a little, about three inches of the space in the back. And I'll add a galley divider wall. So this will separate the space between the galley and the sleeping quarters cabin. Have an interior cabinet in the front. Another interior cabinet in the back attached to the galley wall or the divider wall. Those will have cabinet doors facing the front. Put a galley cabinet in the bottom and the back and then with a countertop on top and then add a shelf with a front facing board to keep stuff from rolling off the shelf when I'm driving down the highway. 
And then finally I'll add a memory foam mattress. Uh, should be enough, big enough inside for a twin size memory foam. Big enough for one person to sleep comfortably. Two people if you really like each other. <laughs> and that'll be be it. That's, that's the basic design. Um, of course there'll be some lighting inside and wiring and all that, but this is just to give you a basic idea of the camper. So that's what it's going to look like. Now just for fun, I want to show you some of the, the add-ons and features that the camper will have eventually. Some of these I had on the previous camper. Um, some of them are stuff that I planned to do to the previous camper but never got to, so I'll eventually add them to this. First thing, I'm going to have two 6 volt golf cart batteries on the front and be connected to a 12 volt system. Also, have shore power that uh, can plug in when I'm somewhere that has shore power, and the shore power will charge the batteries. Also, be able to hook up a little 100 watt flexible solar panel that I have if I'm not on shore power to help keep the batteries charged. I want to add a rooftop air conditioner. So I know a lot of people use either no AC or they use those climate ride ACs, the, the, the hoses that they have to connect when they get there, or a window unit. And I like the idea of just having a normal RV rooftop air conditioner. I know it's probably more than this thing needs, but I think it'll be a lot easier and less hassle. I'm already going to have a the cutout on top where a previous when the previous camper I had a fantastic vent fan. So I think I'm going to put the fantastic vent fan on it to start with and then eventually add a rooftop air conditioner. Also want to do a roof rack so I can carry things like kayaks and extra supplies and whatever else I decide I want to add um, or take along that won't fit in the tow vehicle and possibly add an awning that I can attach to the roof rack. Uh, I'd like to have propane cylinder that I can amount for a propane cylinder. I use propane lanterns and Coleman stove when I go camping a lot so kind of like to have a place to carry some Oprah. extra propane without having to take up space inside the camper or in the tow vehicle so I'd like to do that I want to have a mount for a fuel can jerry can for fuel uh, for case I'm ever out somewhere where I'm out away from everything for a day or two I want to make sure I'm gonna have plenty of fuel so I'd like to have a mount for that. Also a mount for extra water. You know, be able to have make sure that I have plenty of water to drink if I'm out and out and away from everything for a few days. As and finally, I'm gonna have a mount for a extra spare. Uh, now the bolt pattern on this camper is the same as my Jeep. So I thought about using the, the spare on the Jeep as the spare for the camper, but I think the plan now is to go ahead and have a separate spare for the camper because I'm eventually going to lift my Jeep a little bit and have a bigger wheel and tire and those tires won't fit on the camper. so. I think I'm planning to go ahead and just get an extra extra wheel and tire for the spare for the camper. So that'll be mounted on this side. So that's it for the passenger side. Let's jump over to the driver's side. Of course we have the entry door. Um, it's a pre-manufactured door that I had on the original camper and I'm going to reuse it. I'm going to have a light above the door. Um, 
reuse the one that I had before. It's a little LED light, 12 volt, just bright enough to, to be able to see to put the key in the door to unlock it and make sure you're not stepping on anything when you get outside. And the way I wired it in the previous one was I had a switch on the inside and then the light itself has a switch. So I could leave the switch on on the inside and turn the switch on the light from the outside to turn the light on. So when I would leave to go somewhere, I would have the switch on the inside on, but the light turned off on the outside. So when I walk up to the camper, I can just hit the switch on the light and turn it on. It makes it really easy to be able to get into your camper at night. So I'll have that light, and then I have a vent to keep the camper ventilated. Make sure there's no buildup of carbon monoxide inside the camper. And also when it's in storage to help keep it vented. Like I said, I'll have a shore power hookup that'll connect me to the 110 volt electricity and then a hookup for solar power so when I'm not hooked up to shore I can plug in my solar panel throw it on the roof or down on the ground somewhere in the sun so we we'll charge the batteries give them a little extended life on the batteries I want to do another propane bottle on this side I have two propane bottles uh, these are the normal 20 pound bottle so that should be more than enough propane to last me a week or two really extra water on this side extra fuel and that's it for the driver's side so that's it that's my plan for the camper now I just gotta finish building it if you like this like what I'm doing, want to see me finish it, go ahead and hit subscribe, hit like, share, leave a comment, tell me what you think, any suggestions you have. I appreciate you watching. See you next time. I'm